Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're going to show you how to get your lights going. The Pablo 20, that's right. You've got your drone set up or for some reason it's lights out and you just want to configure it so it works just right for you. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. So you're going to need your Pablo 20 drone, whether it's the 03 or 04 air unit. It's fine. We got you covered. Um, so what you want to do is make sure, I'm just going to plug it out. So we can save a little bit of juice, make the experience just right for you. You're gonna need this dongle piece right here. See that? And that's uh, the USB connector thingy. Put it into the back of the drone. Make sure that it goes in its correct spot, like that, see? And as you can see, it's a Pavo 20. We're running the 04 air unit. Uh, no longer need to 3D print anything. If it's in the frame with the access flying kit, there's a link to that video down below. And then what you're gonna do is, it's gonna push everything over here so that everything works just right for you. You're gonna go into um, beta flight. And now we're gonna connect the drone right here. And light should come on. Remember we took the battery out for now. Uh, and we're gonna go to modes, okay? Once you do all that, then you put the battery in because now we can move on forward without worrying about the thing overheating. Remember, there's not a lot of time. You got to be fast. Okay. So now we plug the battery in because the unit will overheat. I haven't had the um, 04 air unit overheat, but the 03 usually does. Um, I'm not sure what those emojis are. I must have accidentally pressed a button and the lights will go out once it sinks. Now, remember, um, lights on, lights off. Um, make sure you're in your goggles, right? And make sure you have the correct air unit selected inside of your goggles. So you go into your goggles and select status, okay? Knowing that and moving forward, uh, we're gonna go to connect and then we're gonna go to mode. See right here? Now watch when I press the button. See, lights go on, but it's not that way that we wanna see. We wanna look at this right here, 1500. 2000 now watch this now if I don't have my mold set correctly. I'm gonna save it Okay, let's save. Okay. I saved my modes now watch uh, Move this a little bit this way and then now save it See it's not working so you need to make sure that you're in the correct range and Also, you have the correct button selected. So for me, it's aux 3. Okay, uh, Aux 5 is the C1 key, but you decide it's custom, so you, maybe you don't want the this button. Maybe you want another button. You choose what works right for you. So for me, I see I have User 1, Aux 3, and now uh, look for the yellow. Okay, so that means the first one should be here, and the next one should be here. And now when I save it, lights on, lights off, lights on. And it's all customizable for the button. If you don't like that button, choose another one okay and then also um, as you can see here you, you have a uh, high on use mode so if you see so many and you have to like scroll through just do here just turn that on and voila now you can see but if you don't see user one then you would you know activate it that way and then once it's activated you're good to go just make sure you select aux 3 and if you don't like aux 3 you figure out what works right for you anyway that's pretty much it kind of neat huh gotta love it anyway i hope this video helped you if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time